Greetings to you all, ladies and gentlemen. This is mathematics. In this video, let's look at this question coming from 2022 Grade 12 GCE Paper 1, and it was question number 11A. The question reads Given that E or universal is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is the universal set. Set A is equal to prime numbers. We also have set B, which is equal to multiples of 3. The question is list A union B complement. Where do you start from? The question is coming from a topic called sets. The first thing that you need to do when dealing with such kind of questions is to draw the Venn diagram. It will give you correct answers. So let's draw the Venn diagram. The Venn diagram looks like this. It's a rectangular shape. So you do that. Here, put E for universal. How many sets do we have? Two of them. They will be inside this rectangle or Venn diagram. So we are going to come up with the first set and the second set. What names are we going to give them? First one will be A. The second one will be B. Have you seen that? Now let's now start putting elements in here. The question I have for you is, whenever you are dealing with a Venn diagram, where do you start from? Is it here? Because it has got rules. Where do you start? Always start from the intersection. If there are three, start from the intersection, the middle part. Then you should be coming outside. Don't do the opposite way. Never. So you should always start from here. Now because of that, we don't know the intersection of A and B. Because A is in words, B is also in words. So the first thing is we need to know the prime numbers. We also need to know the multiples of who? 3. Don't just get these numbers, you start putting them. Mm -mm. It's not like that. So this is what you need to do. Universal set is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's a universal. Then inside the universal, we have set A. Set A, we are told prime numbers. Now, if you don't know this, it will be very difficult for you to answer this question. What are prime numbers? We are talking about numbers with only two factors. That is prime number. Numbers with only two factors. And these factors should be one and the number itself. I'm not saying they should be the same. They should be different. With that in mind, can we say 2 is a prime number? We imagine that. Let's list the factors of 2. And when I say factors, I'm talking about numbers that can go into a given number. So what numbers can go into 2 without leaving a remainder? 1 can go in here. 2 can go in here. So can we say 2 is a prime number according to what I've said? Yes. Why? It has got two factors. And these factors are 1 and the number itself. So the first prime number is 2. I'm repeating. The first prime number is 2, not 1. What are the factors of 1? 1. And I said, for it to be prime, it should have one and a different number. And that different number should be itself. 
So one is not you like making that mistake. The first prime number is two. So here from the list here, do we have two? Yes. Is a three a prime number? How many factors does this have? Two of them. And what are those? One and three itself. So three. What about four? How many factors does it have? Four. Factors of four. One, two, four. Is this what I said to be a prime number? No. Five? Yes. It is only five. One and five. Six? No. It has got one, two, three, and six. What about seven? Yes. What about eight? No. Nine? This one again becomes a problem. Nine. Some says no, it is a prime number. It is not a prime number. Nine has got one, it has got three, it has got nine. So it is not. Ten? No. So these are the prime numbers from the universal set. Be mindful that whatever you are getting for these two sets should come from the universal. That is the universe. That's the universal. So it should come from the universe, not outside. Of course, we have got a lot of prime numbers. 11 is a prime number. 13. But are we getting those? Are they in here? No. It only ends up to that. So this is set A. We go to set B. Set B we are looking for multiples of 3. You need to understand this term, multiples. What are multiples? When we say multiples of 3, let me make you clear here. When I say factors of 3, I'm looking for numbers that can go into 3 without leaving a remainder. Those are factors. So 1, 3 are factors. But when I say give me multiples of 3, I'm now asking you, it's opposite. Multiples of 3, I'm now asking you to give me numbers that 3 can go into. So it can go into 3, it can go into 6, it can go into 9. I see that. So I'm just adding 3s. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, plus three just like that. It can go into 12 and so many, so forth. So these are multiples of 3. Now let's come to this. Let's get the multiples of 3. Of course we have got 3. Next one, 6. Next one, 9. Ends there. This is the end. So these are the two sets. Now all that we have the sets, we start putting them in here. This part here means the intersection of A and B. Let's get the intersection of A and B. What is in A and B? 3. Agreed? So write 3 here. That's the first thing. Are we done? Any other common? Nothing. So we are done. We can now move to this side or this side. This side here now we are going to write elements that have remained apart from 3 because we have already written. So A, what has remained is 2. Write 2 here. What else? 5. What else? 7. We are done. Come to this B. 3 is already here. 6. 9. We are done. Then you come outside. Outside here, you go back to the universal. What don't we have here? 1. Right. 2 is already there. 3 is already there. 4. Do we have 4 here? No. So 4. 5. Do we have 5 here? Yes. 6 is here. 7 is here. 8. We don't have 8. So 8. 9 is here. 10. 
we don't have 10, so it's like that. So this is the way the set is supposed to be. After this, go back to the question now. Answer it. We are now listing A, union, and look at the way I'm writing union. You have not seen me writing like this. This is wrong. Union like this, B, prime, which is in the complement is equal to. Here now we are taught to list elements that are not in A union B. That's the meaning of this. That are not in A union B. So now what is A union B? A union B means we put these elements together, but complement says the answer here should be those that are not in here. So A union B is this. Now we are not interested in this. We are interested in those that are not in A union B. What are those? You agree with me that is this. So one, four, eight, ten. This is a final answer. I hope you have learned something here. I appreciate so much for your support. Please share the video so that others can also benefit. Like, follow my Facebook page, my YouTube channel, and TikTok. Bye-bye.